Hello everyone, this is James from That Was Rad. Coming at you today from a miserable day in Yorkshire. We've got rain and storms coming and it's horrible. But luckily I've got something new in the mail. Yes. It's a larger version of Mutagen Man from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So new and improved, well I'd say improved, we'll see about that. But a new version of Mutagen Man from Super 7 Toys. Now um, they've, Super 7, um, they're kind of famous for the for the little uh, 3.75 yeah, 3 inch figures uh, reminiscent of old Star Wars figures that they've done for pretty much every franchise but I've uh, yeah they've recently come up with uh, the, the ultimate series which they've done for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I think they're like they've just announced Wave 4 um, who has got some really amazing characters I'll get into that later but um, yeah they've done them for Turtles uh, Toxic Crusaders as well I've got my eye on a new Toxie I think they look pretty sweet but yeah, today I've, I've uh, just received Mugen Man in the mail, so uh, I think we should check him out. Sweet, let's do it. Boy, he's a regular Mutagen Man! Right, let's get down to business. So I got this uh, off eBay, um, I think it's the only one left in the country, uh, from Collectible Kingdoms, who uh, although are based out in the Channel Islands, uh, I think Guernsey. They got this to me really quickly, so I was very impressed. So uh, yeah, props to them, shout outs. So I've already opened the uh, box to avoid cutting into it on camera, embarrassing myself. But yeah, let's take a look. So I can already see I've got some, some bonus Haribo in there, which is always much appreciated. Let's get rid of the box. Pretty well packaged. Always nice to have a bit of bubble wrap around it. Very nice cardboard box there. Tank Fastics too. Gotta love some Tank Fastics. Right, let's break this open. So it's a box in a box in a box, which you've got to love. Nice and green. green is real nice really pops so it's, it's a box in a box in a box with a sleeve on it can't go wrong with that can you ultimates all right nice check him out so i cannot fault super seven for their packaging um, yeah, really great that they have a box in a sleeve in a box to protect it. They know what collectors want. But yeah, like first impressions, this looks pretty amazing. Yeah. I guess we'll, we'll know more when we take him out and compare him to the old school Mutagen Man. So I've got a bit of blurb on the back. Mutagen Man, the non-stop mutating monster. I'm not going to read that out. Pause it if you want to read it. Yeah, really nice box. Right, I better take him out. All right, so here he is looking great with all his pals. Yeah, I mean, definitely first impressions. It looks absolutely fantastic. Great box, great amount of detail. Okay, let's get out the trusty Swiss Army knife. I always hate doing this, but it's got to be done. Yeah, it's great that you can actually get into the box without ruining it. There's so many things that are boxed up that you can't actually take out. And I feel like that ruins it sometimes because at the end of the day, you do want to take it out and have a look. So, a bit awkward to do without breaking things. So many accessories. All right, I think I might have to come back to this. All right, so that was quite the ordeal getting out of the box. There's a few bits that just didn't want to come out of the, of the plastic. 
but we're there now. So this is Mutagen Man in all of his glory. He looks amazing. Uh, I don't know if these images do it justice, but yeah, he looks absolutely great. Uh, and to compare him to his uh, old school counterpart, I think they've done a very good job of, uh, yeah, keep keeping him very sympathetic to the original, but enhancing it too. So uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to them bringing out more as well. They're bringing out a Muck Man soon as well in wave four, which is going to be epic because Muck Man is, I think he's pretty much my favorite Turtles character. And he's looking, he's epic. They're also bringing out a, uh, a Mondo Gecko, which would also be great. And he's a skateboarding lizard. What can go wrong? So yeah, but Mutagen Man is obviously an absolute Don as well. So he come, comes with some accessories. He comes with two different hands. So you've got, just have to, there we go, focus a bit. So he's got a little clenched fist with a bit of battle damage there. And a normal clenched fist. So he's ready for battle. Sweet, <laughs> you've got some uh, tiny little accessories down here. Got a little turtle, tiny little turtle, which is ready to go into some mutagen, I suppose. Apple core, and I guess it's a slice of pizza. I've also got, uh, yeah, got some, what do we call it, a spool? Don't know what the, what the proper word for it is. I can't remember anyway, but yeah, we've got one of those with a bunch of things on, and also some separate ones here. You've got a fish, you've got a spanner, a bone, and a, uh, I don't know, a sperm? Could be. It's very strange. But anyway, let's get these out of the way and get down to the real. Yeah, we'll get we'll we'll, we'll get down to Mutagen Man himself. So he's got his signature gun, which is very similar to his older counterpart's signature gun. Just with a bit of a gold highlighting there. Looks ace. Yeah, his see-through parts also very similar. I've never never actually noticed from uh, looking at the old one. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up, but that skull in there, it's also in the old version, which I never really sort of picked up. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just like the old one, but enhanced, which I think is great. Yeah. There's nothing really different apart from the articulation. He's got elbow articulation there, which is hard to do while holding the camera. Yeah, he's, uh, his legs twist, which is also hard to do while holding the camera, but you get the idea. I'm not too worried about articulation. I'm not really gonna play with it because I'm 35. I mean, not, not, not that I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna play with it. I might but I just think he looks epic. And I'm really looking forward to the others. Now I'm not normally into new toys at all, like most of the Super 7 stuff I'm really not bothered about. It's just, yeah, I'm into my vintage stuff. But yeah, and, and there's been so many reissues just recently, uh, like all the Ghostbusters and uh, He-Man, Master of the Universe. Yeah, and I feel like the reissue, reissues that are so similar to to the old ones are just kind of they're not really doing them justice they're just copying them but i don't know i think because super 7 have come up with they've come out with uh, sort of some b characters ones that you don't normally see reproduced i just feel like that's a really nice thing to do give them some love as well i won't be getting all of the ultimates i'm really not worried about the like the, the actual turtles, um, yeah, and, and the main characters, Splinter, Shredder, Bebop, Rocksteady and the likes, because really I'm more into these guys. So yeah, that was a quick little tour around the new Mutagen Man from Super 7. Um, 
he's going to go up on my shelf next to my old mutagen man. Not from Super 7, from Playmates. And uh, yeah, I think he'll look great. Cool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You take it easy. See you later. Goodbye. What's the matter with me?